Hey, Boston Swinkers here with the first web update for the 2012 fantasy football season. I want to apologize for not getting a video up for the weekly draft, but I was out of town and I just didn't have the... No, who am I kidding? I wasn't out of town. I would never leave Boston. Anyways, I'm back now, so let's get the season underway. Number one item on the board this year, just like every other season, no pain. You know who you are, and for the current bylaws in this league, you have three weeks straight period. No penalty for week one, two, or three. However, starting week four, there will be a penalty of one point, which will double each week you do not pay. Also beginning week four, your status as a no pay may begin to lose its anonymity, so feel free to pay ASAP. Second item on the board, first low score award of the season. But let me start off by saying how happy I am to not see Swick in this position. Not only did he not get the low score award, but he had the highest points total in the league, placing him in sole possession of first place, somewhere he hasn't been in a long, long time. So keep up the good work, kids. The low score award, however, does go to the newly inducted league member, Phil Lock C. Routes. And I want to start by saying, shame on this league, for inviting someone to join who has never played fantasy football before. I mean, that's the only conclusion I can come to when I see that this kid had the first overall pick of the draft and still managed to get his hands on a low score award. I'm not just talking about getting a week one loss here. That happens to an estimated 50% of the league. But to draw the ace, get the number one overall pick, then take 25 minutes to make said pick, and still get the low score award? Well, that's worse than Cole Clam shot on the winner. You can see the problem with one glance at his roster. And it rhymes with D'Angelo Williams. You started D'Angelo Williams? Did somebody trick you into this? Everyone knows you never start a Carolina back, not unless his name rhymes with a delicious cookie or, or a pastry. I don't know what it is because it's got too filling and chewy and I, I can't categorize it. But he's the only one you start out of Carolina. So go ahead and start working the waiver wire, make some trade proposals, but watch out for TJ. He's famous for trying to deal some pretty low end players. This one time, he actually picked up and tried to trade one tight end, and the guy wasn't here. Okay, well, I won't tell you the story. I don't want to beat no gold or something here. You know it. Anyways, good first week. That's all I got for now. Until next time, I'm Boston Swickers. And remember, you only need Italian sausage outside Fenway Park before a Sox game with mustard and peppers and onions.